This is Mark Summers, and I double dare you to listen to the 3CT Podcast. Like how uh, much, how much even is like what is the uh, cheapest N- NFL jersey price these days? I think you can get them at like a department yeah, store for like a like hundred bucks. bucks. Yeah. yeah. So they're like the screen printed ones. So like yeah, well the yeah so like on Fanatics the cheapest of like the I think the game jersey is the one with like the screened on numbers is one hundred and twenty nine ninety nine. All right. Yeah. So you know. I mean, for Harrison Butker, though, they probably had to, like, custom make that, right? You would think. There's no way that those are just a jersey that's out there. They have there. a bunch of Butker jerseys hanging around. Like, there's no <laughs> way that, that that's actually one that's out there. Let's find out. Let's see. Jerseys. Oh, no. They're, I mean, well, the they're, most... well, they're listed now, probably, because the NFL can make money on the roofs. So. Right. The most expensive jerseys that that would be hockey jerseys, right? Replicas, yeah. Um, authentics hockey sweaters are typically the most expensive. I think they're about the same, though. Honestly, actually, yeah. The new the new are NFL really? okay. the new NFL jerseys are are crazy expensive. Like the oh yeah, like the the Nike Vapor Untouchable jersey is uh, that's as a custom one. I want to say the Kelly Green ones were like one seventy. Is that a stitched or a or an ironed on? Like the ironed on. Okay. I think I got mine on sale for like one twenty, or something. Yeah. Although Let's I didn't see. get it from Fanatics or the NFL shop. I think where did I get that one from? I think Coles is where I ended up getting that one from. I got mine from the the Eagles Pro Shop at uh, the outlet. Oh, I can't hide money. <laughs> yeah so like if you get a custom nike al- alternate vape or a nike vapor elite which is like the you know the, basically what they wear on field that is 370 yeah um if it's do they even make them pre-named or do you just have to get them customized you probably have to okay here's a jalen hurts one jalen hurts viper vapor fuse elite is 349.99 so that's actually more expensive than what the like the adidas nhl authentics were because those actually aren't even like uh, here goes jersey nerd going those aren't even like true authentics because like the ones that even like the 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 adidas authentics are they're made in Indonesia. The the quality is a little bit. It's not on ice quality. The ones that are made on ice are made in Canada. Now next year, from from what I understand, they the NHL is switching to Fanatics as their actual jersey supplier because um, that's gone yeah. so well for Major League Baseball. And there goes the neighborhood. <laughs> But they are, they will offer the like Fanatics Breakaway replica jersey, which they've had for a while. Then they will have like a they will have a like lower tier authentic, which is like what the Adidas ones have been. And then they will have like an on ice authentic. And I've heard that's going to run. Those are the 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 main Canada ones, and those are going to run. I think I've heard like four fifty. Wow. So yeah, it's it's silly. Uh, it's salty. A little bit. Four hundred and fifty doll hairs. A little bit. Which um, is why I usually go for DH gate for my jerseys. Yeah, yeah. I've. I'm gonna. I need to probably investigate. Let me know when you're placing an order. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, you, yeah. I would let now. <laughs> yes. There's only one person we can really think of that we would say no yeah. to. Um from that front but welcome to tuesday boys uh new month june we're officially in june now so it feels like june it does happy, happy yes. pride month everyone it is pride yeah, month happy pride month yes. right i'm sure he'll yes. he'll billy's been angry about it ah. since saturday he's, he's been <laughs> very very he's had a lot to be mad about he's had a bad week that hillbilly he's had, he's had a rough time 
Yeah, Remember it rained the other day, and then the sun came out, and Hibbley was just shooting at the rainbow? <laughs> he was shooting at the rainbow. <laughs> the rainbow is nothing but God's promise. That's right. About if that. you go to uh, Rehoboth Beach, I heard they uh, painted their uh, their crosswalks, and they're more of a rainbow color. I'm not sure. I've, I've, not, I've, I've heard something about this. So really? if you go to Rehoboth, and you don't want to be gay, don't walk through the crosswalks. You have to jaywalk. Because if you walk over jump the out, rainbow, jump you out yourself, in traffic if you don't. <laughs> correct. Yeah. If you walk off the rainbow, you yourself could become a gay. Is I, that, I think that for the month works. of June? Um, I think it's just because it's Rehoboth and they've always been like an opening. Uh, always, well, I know that. I just didn't know if they did this just for June specifically. Or I'm not. Was... I'm actually not sure. I heard somebody bitching about it on social media that they're not going to go to Rehoboth because of this. Uh-huh. I didn't do much looking into it. So gotcha. let me let me investigate. As I say, I'm going to be there in a few weeks and be anxious to see if it's still there. Huh. But yeah, that, I mean, it's crazy that, you know, Rehoboth Beach, historically a conservative area, is, is now doing this. Yeah. Yeah. Crosswalks on Rehoboth's beaches, Baltimore Avenue, are being painted in rainbow colors. On the eve of Pride Month and for the first time in Rehoboth Beach history, crosswalks on Baltimore Ave are being painted in rainbow colors. Awesome. Uh, I'm not seeing if it's just for the month. I can't believe they would repaint them. Right. I mean, it looks like uh, there's a little picture. That's oh, gay. Look at that. I love that. There it is. Look at it. Look at it. So I'm assuming Hillbilly will not be going to Rehoboth for a family vacation. We can't afford Rehoboth. <laughs> nah, he'll run, go to Muddy Run. Is he allowed to leave the state of Pennsylvania? <laughs> I, uh, he'll, he'll just go to Knobles. <laughs> Knobles is a good, that's a good option. Uh, gotta love it. Gotta Some love more it. Hillbilly speed. Now, Mark, next, next Tuesday... The eleventh. I, I do you work Tuesday. Do you, I don't know if you if you work, you might have to ask off for this, but uh we're gonna we're gonna be in Hershey Hershey Park, me and Miss Big Jim and, and uh, old smoke over there. Are you serious? We are the serious train himself. Old All right, smoke. the train. The train's a fun train. Choo choo. <laughs> smoke wants to ride the choo choo. On the Chattanooga choo choo. So you better you, you better be there, Mark. If I go to, it's one thing to go to Roots Market and not be able to see you, but if if we go all the way to Hershey Park and you're not there, I will do my best to be there. All right, he's not going to be there. Yeah, he will. We've heard that before. Mark, what's the best place to eat in the park? I'll tell you what, Smoke. I'm glad you asked. Yeah, just I wanted the answer. <laughs> they have don't want uh, a goddamn story. I just want an answer. Chick fil A. Yeah, Chick fil A. Get the large chicken. It's got the longest lines of the park, Smokey. Does it really? Usually, yes. It's insane. <laughs> I uh, People spend might, half their day at her, $80 to get in the park. They'll spend half their day in a Chick fil A line. For an $80 chicken sandwich inside the park. Exactly. But they said, my pleasure. <laughs> they hate gays. <laughs> Oh they're yeah, here. they're having a bad month then too. I guess. The only way it could be worse is if the Chick Fil A was on Baltimore Avenue in Rehoboth. <laughs> yeah, boy, there's not there's not a Chick Fil A. There, there is there is a Chick Fil A in Rehoboth. Is there? I gotta walk down. I gotta walk yeah. down this rainbow sidewalk to get God's not blessed down, chicken. Not downtown. It's by the outlets. Uh, where outlets. the where the Kmart used to be. Okay, where the Kmart. There's like an Aldi right there now. Something else maybe. An Aldi. Aldi. They sell booze at the Aldis in the uh, Delaware? Jason Aldi. <laughs> Try that in this moment. Never mind. <laughs> um, Try that Aldi. in a gay town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Smokey. Calm down. Calm it down. Calm it down. Calm it down. Boys, do we have anything on the agenda with games? You could probably regroup that. I got nothing. Some sort of game. I came up with a, a really quick game because I know you you said uh, to come up with something. So I came up with 10 trivia questions uh, after dinner before Thursday show because I forgot about it <laughs> until that moment. All right. Uh, what else did we say? I think Tim said he had a lyric game. Let it rip. 
Tim, did you come with a lyric game? I did. Okay. Look at that. We right. got so much. Do you want to run one of these guys quick? You ask us, and we deliver I'm week so, after week after so week you, after boys. week. I'm so proud. Very proud. Well, it's Pride Month. It, it is. I think it's... Jim, be proud of us. Do you want to, that's it's one the one. only month where you can be proud and brave. That's true. It's very so true. proud and also so brave. All right, let's run one of these. We'll do the let's run the miscellaneous category. Remember, these are from. Now, what is, is in this category, Jim? So it could be anything. Oh, the old potpourri. thirty-four. Could be anything. Oh wait, what? I'm just going to answer thirty-four to everything. All right. I did say that I think before you jumped on Tim last time that the game I did create originally was I was going to run down a list of presidents and you told me if they were convicted felons or not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a short list, short game. There's, but forty six. Forty forty six president. Right. Herbert Hoover. Nope, not a convict. Not a convict. Nope. Not a convict. Okay. Um, Dang, a, all right. So these are remember opportunity for Herbert Hoover. These are these are from uh, Chat GPT. This is his best movie snack: popcorn or nachos. We'll go Ryan, Matt, Tim, Mark. Oh, this is easy, Jim. Popcorn. All right, Matt. I'm also popcorn over nachos. All right. At sidebars, is there anything you would take over popcorn, though? Pretzel bites. Oh, I do love a good pretzel bite. Uh, Tim, popcorn or nachos? Hardcore popcorn. All right, Mark. Hardcore popcorn. Oh, it's popcorn for sure. Oh, yeah. The, popcorn. Always popcorn for me. I'm a popcorn guy. Um. Socks matching or mismatching? Ryan. No socks, Jim. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, man, obviously matching. I'm a fucking 40 year old man. <laughs> you buy the you buy the like the 20 pack and just they're just uh, all you're the damn same. Damn right I do. That's right, exactly. Because they're they're cheaper by I the I even make sure like the brand is because like there are slightly different cuts to like the no show socks that I have one slightly thicker than the other. Oh, yeah. I make sure they match up when I, when oh, I, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. You so always have to match no show sock guy. I am. I, um, usually a no show guy. Um, I can no have, jokes. what is the other one? The ankle, the ankle cut. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Maybe? Um, There's no an show ankle, ankle like three, quarter. three quarter three quarter crew. Knee high, knee high, knee high, knee high socks. Yeah, I'm a, I'm actually a three quarter guy. Are you serious? Now, where do they go up to? Do they go up to uh, like your lower calf? Um, they they go above my ankle. The ankle ones are still too. Short. So like a shin, it's like a shin sock. Close shin to sock. it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Close to it. So yes, when you, but I cut the toes off so shin the sock. toes can be free Fuck too. Sake. Naturally. Fuck's sake. Uh, so when you buy yeah, those, did you ever just want to like link your toes with another person's toes? Absolutely and, like, not. No. Absolutely <laughs> kinda not. Like, kind of like holding hands. Nope. But... No, okay. I wouldn't even do that to myself. <laughs> Didn't never you ever hear the, the? You never heard the hit song "Put Your Toes in My Toes." Oh. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> uh, so Matt, when you buy those uh, shin socks, um, are you matching or mismatching? matching all right tim i try to be as matching as possible but damn it goddamn dryers fuck me all the live long day (laughs) (laughs) Um, (laughs) mark are you matching or mismatching Uh, i'll throw a mismatch sock in the trash can before i wear it i hate mismatch socks they gotta be matching no, they don't. Yes. Yeah, if I'm if I'm done with my laundry and I have two mismatched socks, they both go in the trash. No. I might it... find mismatched socks in a week. I might have thrown them away last week and created a mismatch. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. My, my rule is. I'm not that poor. I can throw away a fucking sock. No, my rule is you got you to gotta hang on to the mismatch for like a week. You can't hide it, money, Ryan. Because you may. I know. No you can't way. hide money. <laughs> Um, you may find it under the bed or something, you know, like maybe it just got lost. It fell out of the hamper or Throw something. Throw it away. 
No. Jim, they're fucking over at the Walmart. They've got 20 socks for five ninety nine. Not anymore. Thanks, Byron. <laughs> what are they, seven ninety nine? Byron. I think a six pack of socks is like twenty bucks now at Target. Get the fuck out of here. Well, Target. Target oh, you gotta buy. You gotta buy them on. No, you gotta buy them on Amazon. Oh, oh. You're buying Amazon socks. What are they? Just cardboard <laughs> sleeves? Well, no. You you're still buying. I'm still buying like Hanes or whatever if socks. Get, you don't like feet, but you can at least take care of your own a little bit. <laughs> no, no. They have the name socks. brand socks. You just buy them on Amazon because it's cheaper. Speaking of which, Amazon Prime, if you're a Prime member, you can now get uh, Grubhub Plus include, Grubhub. In, included with your Grubhub. Prime. So I am a Grubhub I am now Plus. a Grubhub Plus member. It's good to know. So yeah, look if you if you're not a if you're not a Grubhub. Is that like is that like uh, Dash Pass for DoorDash? Is that what I Grubhub believe so? Plus? Yeah, yeah. So it's it's the no delivery fees. Nice. In it, so I'm I'm going to become a Grubhubber for the first time ever because. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not made of money to, to be able to pay for those premium, premium food services. I know I'm scared. Or dash way too much. Man. Once you start doing it, you're fucking. Uh, how many times did you do it today, Ryan? Or Twice. Thursday? Twice. Today. Twice. Today. Grub, so, like, grub, grub, dinner and lunch. Lunch. What'd you have for lunch? Isaac's. Ooh. Overrated have? sandwich place. Way overrated sandwich. That is it. And You're and wrong. the French fries and the tip was twenty seven dollars. Okay. What? Why are you getting French fries and not chips? Yeah. Anyway, Chris. Because oh, I've he's... always been a French fry guy. Oh, chips. The chips at Isaac's right. are the way to go, my guy. Oh, the French deli sandwich. Me. They're just dip and bought chips. Yeah, and they're they're good. So why are you even getting anything on the side? Just get the sandwich. Because it's like a ha- tiny little six-inch sandwich. They also have a nice pasta salad. At- they do have a good really? pasta salad. I never tried their pasta, pasta salad. salad. I think they have a good broccoli salad too. If you're a broccoli, <laughs> I'm salad. a pasta no. salad guy. Um, there Mar- is no pasta. <laughs> oh, Jesus, <laughs> Mark, are you a um, match? You said matching. Oh, yeah, I'm matching as well. All right, <laughs> they got a match. They got it. The superior pet is oh. it a cat or a dog? Ryan. Um, golly, I guess it depends what you're looking for in a pet, Jim. Some might say it's a wife. (laughs) 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 Well, that Harrison Butker jersey looks great on you, right? (laughs) Thanks, thanks. I'm cosplaying. Um, I, 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 boy, at my age, I'm going to say a cat. Because they just kind of take care of themselves, and they have the personality like me. Like, ah, we can hang out and we can play if we want, but also fuck you. So I have a lot. I feel like I have a lot in common with cats anymore. All right, Matt. Yeah, nothing against cats. I've I've had them in the past, but I am more of a dog person. All right, Tim. I love your big dog. He's my favorite dog. <laughs> big dog. <laughs> yeah. The big. He's not smart. He's not very no, smart, but I fucking. No. He, I always look forward to seeing him when I come over to to Casa Matt. He looks forward to that as well. <laughs> we uh, we need to we need to set a uh, a, a pay per view. We owe Lauren. Remember a, that a time pay-per-view. you were driving and you threw him off the front seat? That was sad. <laughs> <laughs> sure do. Or whatever had happened. <laughs> yeah. over and he was in he was in a neck brace like Tony Khan. <laughs> yeah, sure was. He, com- he committed to the Poor gimmick, dog. man. You got to commit. He sure to the- did. He sold the gimmick Bought well. You got to sell the gimmick, brother, brother. Uh, Tim, uh, dogs or cats? Dogs. All right, Mark. Dogs now, Big Jim. All right, yeah, I'm. A, I like I'm dogs. I like dogs. All right. I'm a uh, yeah. I'm a dogman myself. Um, a dogman. Uh, best fictional holiday, Festivus or Star Wars Day? Ooh, God, neither. They're both from fucking awful series. Um, <sighs> Festivus. All right, Matt. That is a very Ryan holiday. You do like to air grievances. I do. I'm just a fucking old grouch. <laughs> I probably, I enjoy airing grievances a lot more, but I probably celebrate Star Wars Day more commonly. Uh, Tim, what are the two uh, Festivus or uh, Star Wars Day? 
Star Wars Day. All right, Mark. Without a doubt, a festivus for the rest of us. Yeah, I believe that. I believe yeah. that. Um, I've probably always been Star Wars Day, but it, but even more so now that like I was just in the the Star Wars park and kind of getting back into that. I'm definitely more of a Star Wars guy. Um, aliens are they among us or are they just a myth? They're they're real. Okay. Uh Matt. I don't know that I'd say they're among us, but I, I believe that there are other life forms out there beyond this planet. All right, Tim. It would be foolish to believe that we are by ourselves in this planet. All right, Mark. Oh, they're uh they're out there probably among us. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, I, I, you probably saw some at uh Roots today. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you never know. Probably saw in the, in the kitchen of the Mojo Diner for sure. Oh, yes. For sure. yes, you know, I, 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 there's definitely life somewhere else in the universe. Um, but man, after after watching, like you know, CNN around five o'clock last Thursday, I, I'd say they're among <laughs> us. For sure. <laughs> I don't think they would want to be among us after watching. Well, yeah, they're just like fuck <laughs> this. They like they took one look at how you know one half of the world reacted to Thursday's news and went, you know what, guys, pack it up. There ain't nothing here for us. Um, the fuck question is this: pajamas or dressing up for bed? The oh, fuck. If dressing up for bed means in my boxers, then yes. <laughs> look at Smoke Go. Like, is that, I guess, like, would that be Let like... Me look at Smoke Go. What, am I wearing a fucking suit to bed? <laughs> no, I, right, like, I don't even understand. Clothes, I take a shower, yeah. I put a fresh pair of boxers on, and I go to sleep. You're wearing your birthday suit to bed. No. No. I mean, sometimes. I mean... You're letting a little smoky, uh, <laughs> little <of> smoky breathe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Turn the turn the <laughs> ceiling fan on. Turn a little fan on by the bed. That's right. You're not worried you about a, shrinkage. Are you a two fan guy, Ryan? I uh, it depends. Yeah, I do. I like the, the ceiling fan is pretty quiet. If I want to hear something, I'll turn the other fan on. It's a little louder. Um, Matt. Um, I don't dress up or wear. I, say, I don't even bed. know what dressing up for bed like. <laughs> Like, are you like? Is it like fancy? Well, Mark would know. He puts on his nightcap and everything. Right? Is that what? Is that what it is? A nightcap, nightgown? Are you wearing like, or is it like fancy pajamas? Like, well, I don't even understand the the, the premise Mark has here. Marquez's Ebenezer Scrooge ensemble. Like, I I live I live my life in like a, a t shirt and gym shorts. Like, does this mean like I'm going to put on like a tuxedo to go to bed? Is that what that means? What do you? Are, let's say, what do you wear to bed, Jim? My my underwear. My boxers. Oh. Do you wear a shirt or no. a shorts? No. So you're just skivvies. Just skivvies. He wears the undies that he had the accident in. <laughs> well. <laughs> at Mark's at Mark's age, I, I, it's a, it's depends. Not not yeah. depends on what he's wearing. It's just to make sure the it sheets depends. don't get dirty. Well, I will tell you what, I made the mistake of uh, wearing my silk pajamas last week, and I jumped in the bed with my silk sheets, and I ended up in Hillbilly's flower bed. <laughs> <laughs> I knew where he was going with it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it, it oh, he's losing it. He's losing it. it. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Hill, Hillbilly oh. heard this in his front yard. Oh. Wait, wait for it. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's why I'm shopping Devin, for was Devin there? Yeah, yeah. Poor uh, Hillbilly. Uh, right out there, though. God, dog. I just had it replaced, too. So, uh, Matt, did you? Even, I guess you didn't even. I don't even know how to answer these que this question. I, I mean, I sleep in my boxers. Yeah, so. Tim, uh, Tim. Yeah, Tim. How do you sleep? Is it boxers? Boxers and a tank top. Tank top. Mark. Holy cats! Well, I'd like to sleep buck ass naked. <laughs> 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 but that one time it was a fire drill. <laughs> fire drill. You have a house. Yeah, but you. Know. It's just Alex. Ring fans. <laughs> I was just bringing friends over. To, I heard a bell ring. They haven't been back since. 
<laughs> I could see Mark having silk pajamas with the the MH sewn on the oh, crest. Without or... like the ones that like the uh, the Scott Calvins. Scott Calvin. in, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I got Santa those Claus. nice pajamas. I have to open up trap door too because my wife had to go. <laughs> And it's right there, dude. dude if they, they could make, door. if they could make like a a a footy pajama, like a, an adult footy pajama that wasn't a thousand degrees, I, I'd probably think about it. I'd think about it. <laughs> well, there was like a resurgence of them a couple years, like union was, suits. Yeah. Is that what they were called? Like a yeah. couple a couple yeah. years ago, that that died off pretty quick. Well, it's like I said, the pandemic happened, and we just lived in our pajamas. And we lived. That's right. fair. Right. And now, we're this like, is kind of uncomfortable. Yeah. This is terrible. Um, all right, best time travel destination, past or future? Um, ah, the future. Fuck the past. All right. Matt? I'll go, I'll go past. I want to relive certain things more though, so that I want to I wanna be surprised when things happen in the future. All right. Uh, Tim? Go to, the, go to the past and buy Google stock. There you go. Um, Mark? I'd like to go to the past that I would go back to last Thursday and I'd pay my phone bill on time. <laughs> Is that why I couldn't get a hold of you over the weekend? Yeah. Well, that makes sense. That makes ADT sense. He ain't fooling around. <sighs> no. It sure ain't. In this economy? Woof. Don't um, blame him. <laughs> Don't um, yeah, uh, I would I would go back to the, I'd go back to the past. I I've, I don't have a whole lot of faith in the future, so I'll like get back to <laughs> it. Um, not after last Thursday, we don't. Well, and fuck the 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 way that things could be going, the future is going to be the past. Um, spaghetti eating technique: Ooh. fork only or fork and spoon? Fork Ooh. only. I ain't that fancy. I fucking hate when people use the spoon. Be an adult. <laughs> Be an adult. Be be like Kurt Angle and just pick it up and cut it. <laughs> I was about to say that. I want to. One day I want to get as good as Kurt Angle and go to the fork and scissors. Dude, thing. I, I've I, there's been times I've honestly I've thought about I've thought about spaghetti scissors. I really have. I just I just don't want to. I don't want a divorce yet. So I I I can't. Oh, dude. Well, yeah, you're still you're still early in the game. Give it, give it another year or two, and it doesn't fucking matter. That's not divorceable. Um, Mark. Oh, I'm using a fork. That, that's true. You can take that and stick it up your you-know-what, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'm I'm a fork guy. Uh, it, like, and here's the thing: if 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 it's if it's that big of a deal, you could just like if if. If you feel like you gotta go, like go all the way to the spoon, just fucking, I don't know, cut it up or something. I don't give a shit. Um, okay, we got uh, five more here. This has been the most miscellaneous set of questions. Oh, I know. Chat GP did place. not. It's only gonna get better. The point. Famous mustache showdown: Tom Selleck versus Salvador Dali. Oh boy, Tom Selleck. Matt, yeah, I'm going to mustache rides. Yeah, I'm going Tom Selleck for that reason. Boys, uh, chant with me, USA, 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 USA. Tom Selleck, baby. USA. I'm voting for Salvador Dali. On, man. His what is stupid this? mustache. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, is? What? Mark. No. Oh, I like uh, Burt Reynolds. <laughs> not on the list, apparently. Um, yeah, maybe it's not Burt Reynolds, apparently. Yeah, not not Burt Reynolds. Was that Tom Selleck? Hello. Yeah, it's Tom Selleck. Yes. Tom Selleck's the answer. What a mustache! God, dog. Best fictional detective: Sherlock Holmes or Scooby Doo? Inspector Gadget. Dick Tracy. Uh, Encyclopedia Brown, bitch. <laughs> Blue from Blue's Clues. Got him. Hey, speaking of Scooby Doo. Oh, God. Last Tuesday. No, Tuesday. Last Thursday, 
at the Sharp Shopper in Middletown, I saw a villain from Scooby-Doo shopping in the frozen food section. You would. Was that the punchline? Yeah. He's pretending to be frozen. I know. <laughs> I was pretending to be frozen. He was in the frozen food. There was a guy there that looked like he was a villain from a Scooby-Doo cartoon. That's just all there is to it. It was really weird. He Died. would have gotten away with it too, Smokey. Died exactly. laughing. Died laughing. No, it's hey, here's real. a here's a replay of Mark's joke. <laughs> well, it wasn't a joke, it was a real thing. It really happened. I was gonna say, can you play just like the cricket chirping? <laughs> <laughs> I think I agree. <laughs> I had it ain't one. no joke, Big Jim. He was there, and he was creepy. Oh, he must have taken that off the board. I used to have crickets. Crickets. Um, all right. Crickets. The it's ultimate above. time of day, morning or night? Night. I'm a morning person. Tim. N- Nightman. He's Nightman. Well... Uh, uh, this is my cold morning. I gotta go with the morning, Jim, because you get up, you got a brand new day, Big Jimmy, to make an impact or do something good for somebody. At night, it's over. You're done. Yeah, but it's really weird to beat off the porn at like 9.45 in the morning. Well, That sounds awful judgy, that Tim. <laughs> what, what time are you going to break, Smokey? <laughs> Ten fifteen. It's ten fifteen for Smokey. Is he still a morning person? No. I'd be I don't think I could bust a <laughs> nut during work. No. I just want to take a nap. This is gonna this all right, we're gonna go down this road. You've never just woken up and been like, All right, it's time. No, no. Whether it's yourself or like with a girl uh, you've never just had like a morning fuck? No. Really? Tim never had the morning wood. No, actually. <laughs> really? That's just yeah. never happened. No, nah, man. Oh, Mrs. I feel bad for Mrs. Big Tim. My, my dick has <laughs> discipline. <laughs> Big Tim. Mrs. Big Tim. Mrs. Big Tim. Good lord. Um, Tim, you need to you need to dream better. I think. Or perhaps he needs a blue chew. No, I, I'm not saying it doesn't work. I'm just saying it does do it in the morning. Holy cats. I got you'll stuff be, to do in the morning. Night and Mrs. Big Tim will just be sliding a blue chew in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Swallow this. To un- hit, like Jim, unlocking Jim, his he's jaw. He's an early riser and you're just not. Just, just like, Jim, like, just trying to pop his jaw open. Another, he won't say another word. She's dissolving. The, the, the Well, you're not a coffee man. What do you drink in the morning, Tim? Probably oval tea. <laughs> what kind of old do you think I am, Mark? <laughs> Well, you put a blue chew in your oval team. I was say, I was gonna say, you put a blue chew in your oval team. Yeah, what I you do with your own is his oatmeal. What you do with your own time is none of my goddamn business, Mark. The oatmeal problem is, like, a, uh, if I'm golfing, Mark, the let's be honest, you're a cream of wheat guy, aren't you? Uh, well, I do like some cream of wheat. Oh, you would <laughs> cream of wheat. Stuff stinks. I'm young guy. Um, if I'm yeah, golfing, I... the answer is morning. Everything else is night. Um, hot dogs, sandwich, or no, or ha- sandwich or not? Which is actually the question. Oh, this is tough because it's how do you define a sandwich? No, it's not tough anymore. I figured it out. I believe it is a sandwich. It is meat placed in bread to eat. I also yes. believe it is of the sandwich variety. It is a sandwich because the hot dog in the sandwich is the thing in the bun. When you buy a pack of hot dogs, you do not buy buns. You buy the cylindrical meat tube things oh. that go in the bun. Therefore, a hot dog is a sandwich. All right, Mark. You got meat. You got bread. When you bite into a hot dog, Big Jimmy, you're biting into a sandwich. 
Thank you. Yes, I agree. It is. It is a sandwich. Um, I've never seen somebody cut a promo about eating a hot dog me before. Neither. Well, you're not watching the right <laughs> movies at 3 a.m. That's a fair point. Stick around, um, big boy. And the last one for the miscellaneous here: um, dressing up your pet, adorable or cruel? Um, adorable. Well, I don't know. Adore, adorable. Okay. Cruel. Okay. Tim. Stupid. <laughs> oh. yeah, that's the better answer, actually. Your dog is covered in fur. <laughs> a thick fur, Tim. And then you put a shirt on it? Somewhere in that house, Indy is cowering in fear. <laughs> she heard thick coat and pfft, she was darting out that door. She's hiding behind Kirby the Magnificent Fluffy Dog. Because he can't hear nothing. No. Poor Kirby, man. Poor Kirby. Uh, he's, heard, he's heard enough. Poor guy needs peace. Yeah, in that house. <laughs> he, has, <laughs> he has heard enough. Poor Kirby. The goddamn dad's just screaming randomly again. Um, doing good so are you uh, are you team adorable or team cruel, Mark? Well, I'm team unusual. It's a little weird. <laughs> well, that's that's not, accurate. It's not cruel, but it's yeah. I guess if anything, I'm. I'd say it's a doorbell. Ding dong. Hello? Unusual, Mark. You have had Indy on this show with the sweater. Well, it keeps her warm. Smoke. So does her fur. Well, well sometimes it off of her. Oh, like that's a monster. Right. And then eats it. I eat it. What happens to Indy's fur? I, I'm learning to knit with it, Smokey, okay? I'm using the knit whip to knitting with dog fur. Knit whip. Remember the knit whip? That was an actual product called the knit whip. Nobody no. remembers the knit whip. But you didn't make dog fur with it. I think you made sweaters. Let me look it up. Can you look it up yes. for me, Big Jim? I'm using my phone to podcast. Yes, look up your fake your fake item. Jim's frozen. Yeah, sure. <laughs> whatever. Whatever Mark just said. Um I it depends to like what level you're dressing the dog up. Like if you put a like a like a bow tie or like you know, or a bandana on the dog, adorable. If you're like going super crazy with costumes and shit and the dog looks absolutely miserable, then you've reached cruel territory. What if it's a small hat? Again, as long as the dog doesn't mind it. If you would. If the dog don't mind it, I've seen some dogs with like little, they put little caps on. Now, why does it have to be a dog in your example? What if a cat wants to wear a tie or a fun hat? Uh, Well, when I'm thinking of my pet, I'm thinking of a dog. So I'm a dogman. Did it say that earlier? There it is. You all right? Boop, yep. Who that? Somebody fell. Good. Nope. Nobody fell, Mark. You okay? We're all good? Okay. What? Nothing. No, there's something you want to say. It's okay. You can no, get it it's, out. It's cruel. That's cruel what I want to say. So just move on. 45 hours? Do it. That you kind of, it. That kind of no, wants you to say. Go. I'm not going to make a joke about Charlie. Move <laughs> on, please. Charlie now. Now Wait, are we talking Charlie, my old dog, or Charlie, our friend Charlie? Yes. <laughs> Charlie in a box, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie is angel. Hello. Uh, we will move on. Uh, Ryan, do you want to hit us with your trivia game? or do you? Thank you. Do you... Yes. Okay. Quick trivia game. Ten questions. Answer however the fuck you want. Shout your name or just shout the answer. I don't give a shit. <laughs> shout somebody else's name. <laughs> Whatever you want to do to buzz in. Perfect. <laughs> Tim. Buzz Mark Lightyear. Light. I was just practicing. Yes. Jim, I'm glad you said Buzz Lightyear. That uh, is close to what our first question is. How many stars, uh, to the closest number, how many stars are in our solar system? The Buzz Lightyear. without going over wins. Tim. Buzz Lightyear. 525,600. <laughs> Mark. Mark. One. Matt. Mark is correct with one. 34. Nobody else gets the vote. Wait, so what? It's one star. It is the sun. 
in our solar system is one. Oh, because the other stars are out in other galaxies and shit. There are other solar systems. Fucking Mark, the, Mark the science guy. Well, uh, Jay, uh, next question: Jason Brady DeFord is better known as this country music singer. <laughs> Mark, Mark, Trace Adkins. That is incorrect, Mark. <laughs> a uh, great guess, though. Uh, Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean is incorrect. Was that you buzzing in, y'all shouting a name, or was your guess? Oh, no, that was my guess. That was my guess. Okay, Jason Aldean is also incorrect. You might as well just name a country music singer. You might be right. Tim. Tim. Jelly Roll. It is Jelly Roll. Holy cat. This one was specifically for Mark to get on the board, but I'm shocked he already answered one. In the TV show The Monsters, what was the address that the monsters lived at? Mark. Mark. Uh, first of all, Smokey, it's the monsters. The monsters. I thought you said the monsters. The monsters. No, that's who the Hershey Bears are playing. Yes. Uh, they lived at 1313 Mockingbird Lane. Mark is on the board twice. Shocking. <laughs> In 2003, when Big Van Vader made a surprise TNA appearance, who did he save from getting a beatdown? Holy cats. Think TNA in 2003. Mark. And then it's not going to be who you're thinking of. Go ahead, Mark. Sting. That's incorrect. Raven. Raven is incorrect. Tim. Tim. Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett is incorrect. Uh, Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy is a great guess. Big Van Vader saved Dusty Rhodes. From getting a beat down that he sure day, did. Just ah. in 2003. He sure Makes did. That was my next guess. Uh, this is another one closest without going over. Stocky Channing, who played high school student Rizzo in the movie Grease, was how old when she played the teenage role oh, of Rizzo? Shit. Tim. Mark. Tim. Twenty-seven. Jim. Close to that going over. Jim. 33. Jim is correct with the guess of 33 on the nose. Oh, I was going to say 32. It was 33, Mark. You still would have been wrong. Wow. I would have gone so over. After, a round, uh, after the first five, Mark's two. Tim won. Jim won. Listen to the music. Long Train Running and China Grove are hits by what band? The Doobie Brothers, Matt. Matt, the Doobie Brothers. Matt is correct. Oh, well, see, I thought he Danny was saying. Tanner, the, I thought he was saying Aunt the Doobie Becky, Brothers nope. was his. Oh, and Matt was the band. Yeah. Danny Tanner and Aunt Becky worked together on what TV show on Full House? Jim. Jim. Wake up, San Francisco. Incorrect. Really? I I believe that is incorrect. Mark. Mark. Go to bed, San Francisco. That's so incorrect. Did you say on Full House? Yes. <laughs> Are you sure it's not Wake Up San Francisco? Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Maybe my site was incorrect. Yeah, it your site's wrong as fuck. Yes, it is wrong as fuck. Jim is correct. It is Wake Up San Francisco. Not Good Morning San Francisco like my... Uh, <laughs> My trivia website showed me. My apologies for that. I definitely looked. Alive. Yeah, because I think they, I think they were, I think their show like had gone like national or something by the time they did Fuller House, which is why I asked that question. I was like, because I think they, they were, made it Full House. No, I knew that. Yeah, yeah. So, but I was like, I know for a fact because I could hear the song and everything. Wake, Wake up. up. See, as soon as you said "Wake Up, San Francisco," I was like, "Boy, I think I'm wrong." Because <laughs> yeah. when you said no, I thought I you were just written. fucking around with me. I gave you the point anyway, Jim. Thank you, I appreciate that. Uh, Mork from the television show Mork and Mindy was originally from what planet? Mork. Jim. Whoa! Every just somebody shout the answer. Ork. 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 Yes, Matt. I heard you first. Ah, God darn. <sighs> Malik. The token black guy from Not Another Teen Movie is supposed to just smile, stay out of conversation, and say things like, damn, shit, and what? Jim. 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 That is whack. That is whack is correct. 
That is whack. What did Stevie Ray Vaughan name his most beloved guitar? Oh shit. And that this, wasn't that wasn't my worth, answer, by the way. This one's worth five points. Mark. Mark. Elvira. Nope, minus five. <laughs> Mark, Mark, Mark lost the game. <laughs> God, no. Yeah, you didn't know it was a negative answer, did you, Mark? A negative point. No. Yes, Mark, has, Mark, has, Mark has no. minus three. Matt. Matt. Number one. Number one, Matt. Uh, that is incorrect. You have minus three as well. Um, Jim, Jim, Big Thunder, Big Thunder. That is incorrect. Damn. You have minus two ah. because you had three in the original game. Come on, Tim, make a guess. Uh, <laughs> Big Percy, Big Percy, Percy. Tim, that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's not right. It's Jimbo, you silly fool. Ah, man, I was so close. Nobody won. The points don't mean shit. Sorry, I wasted your time. Uh, that was great. I loved. I loved that one. I loved it. It was fun. All right, Tim. Next I think time you... I'll do better coming up with something more, more <laughs> meaningful with all correct answers. <laughs> well, no, we're uh, we're smoking. He did his best. Good. I got the I got the point anyway, so it didn't matter. We tried. Then you lost it. Yeah, well, you live some. You you live, you love, you lose, or something. Like that. <laughs> you live, you learn, you, uh, live, you lose. Tim, I think you said you got a you got the lyrics. I do. The I do li- have the lurks. The lurks uh, came for. So, the lurks. As we played last time, our winner decided we were going to do Guns and Roses songs. Right. So I have in my handy dandy rooted to the fresh and fruity uh, document, I have a list of 10 of the most popular Guns N' Roses songs in the history of this world. You understand? So I have run the lyrics, some, some of the lyrics to these songs through Google Translate. Not one, not two, not three, but 80 times. Oh, 80. 80 times. Can you count that high? Well, I can count to 34. I don't need Fair to go. Enough. I don't need to. I don't need to count to 80 yet. 80. All right, not yet. But the year is still young. The year is young. So I will give you all a chance to pick a number one through 10. That will correspond with a song. I will read off the remixed lyrics, and you will tell me the song that goes with it. Um, I forget who the winner of the grand prize game was last time. It was all smoke, I believe. It was smoke train then. So smoke, you get to go first. Pick a number one through ten. It's a lot of pressure. I'm going to go with number... One. Number one, as you did last time. Boring. The, ly- the lyrics are... Let me actually flip the monitor to go over to here so I can read them better. Again, how do we buzz in here so, we, so we're very clear we need to know the rules? You will buzz in with thine name. Okay. Please wait until the lyrics are complete. Okay. What if we know it sooner? Wait. Then buzz in Wait. fast. Wait. 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 Okay. Jim. <clears throat> Wait. Number Song number one. What are you doing tomorrow? I'm sick of it all. If you want more, I washed my hands with blood. Mark. Mark. Don't cry. If we could see tomorrow, what are your plans? No one can live in sorrow. Ask all your friends. Times that you took in stride, they're back in demand. I was the one who's washing blood off your hands. It is the first first lyrics to Don't Cry by Guns N' Roses. Don't cry. 
Don't cry. Mark, you are on the bird. Please pick a number two through ten. Can I turn it all the way up to six? You can go to six. We can do six. Marking off six. Scrolling down to six. Please remember, do not answer, do not call your name out until the lyrics are complete. Welcome to the forest to enjoy this fun and exciting game. We have everything you need. We are the right name for your needs. If there is money, it will decrease. Jim. Mark that. I heard. Ryan. I think I heard Jim first. Welcome to the jungle. It is. Welcome to the jungle. We've got fun and games. We've got everything you want, honey. We know the names. We're the people that can find whatever you may need. Got the money, honey. We've got your disease. Can we request that you read one of these in Axel voice? Um, (laughs) No. um, What numbers are gone? I mean, you can't sound worse than Axel today. One and six are off the board. So pick a number between two and five or seven and ten. All right. I will go with the number that starts the number 34, and that is the number three. Number four it is. Got you. God darn. Oh, wait. Number three. Because I miss you, he said. I always smile. I miss you every day, my friend. Sometimes I don't understand, but I was quiet. I have many thoughts now. Ryan. Ryan. Don't cry? Already been said. (laughs) Are you serious? That was our (laughs) first song. (laughs) No way. There's literally been two songs before, and you guessed 50% of them. song three, and you picked song one. You guessed 50% of them. Matt. What? Matt, you could be mine. It is not you could be mine. Speaking of numbers and percentages, did you know the average president has been convicted of 0.7 felonies? Oh, man. Just, numbers, just averages throw, are screwed just, now. Just throwing that out there. Um, to Mark, and, Mark and Jim. Well, it's smoked defense. There was two verses of Don't Cry. One on Use Your Illusion 1 and the other on Use Your Illusion 2. Uh, is the answer November Rain? No, it's not. So, Mark, oh, Mark, I think you got a guess, right? I got a guess. I'm happy to repeat the lyrics. Could you repeat the lyrics, Tim? I was nervous to ask. Sure. <laughs> because I miss you, he said. I always smile. I miss you every day, my friend. All right. Sometimes I don't understand. But I was quiet. I have many thoughts now. Yep, uh, that is patience. That is patience. Mm. Shed a tear because I'm missing you. I'm still all right to smile. Girl, I think about you every day now. Was a time I wasn't sure, but you set my mind at ease. No doubt you're in my heart now. (laughs) Mark, with your whistling... You can stop and pick a number between two, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. I ain't whistling Dixie. I'll take uh, ten. Big bar. Ten. Number ten. Number ten. Um. Okay. Remember, wait until the lyric is done. <laughs> when I look into your Damn. eyes, I learned that love is impossible. But dear, I won't stop you. Don't you understand what I'm saying? Ryan. Yeah. I heard Ryan. November rain. That is November rain. Ah, uh, darn. The remixed lyrics after 80 runs through Google Translate, the first lyrics stayed the same. When I look into your eyes. Craziness. Ryan, you were on the board. Two, four, five, seven, eight, nine. Two. Turn up the two. Two. Number two. Here we go. Ready? Follow your people. A woman was crying. 
Look at your look at look. Your son is dead, Elder. <laughs> Let's see what they hate. Note our great fear. Look at life. How to do this? Mark. Mark. Civil War. Yeah. Yes, it is Civil War. Is that off a of Chinese democracy? No. That was use your illusion to Chinese. I don't. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I don't do. Uh... Please refresh the page oh. to hear the sounds. Oh. Yeah. Please refresh the page. Yes. Oh. Got oh, it. The New York Sound court. Like... The New York courts must have got that sounder. Oh. <laughs> Four five seven eight nine. Mark. You're not familiar with Civil War, Jim? No, I don't. I I've, I've never been China. the biggest uh, Guns and Roses uh, guy. It was the only one of us to not go to the show. That is my favorite GNR song, actually. It's so good. Well, I guess what we have here, Jim's failure to communicate. <laughs> yes. Get Four, out, five, buddy. seven, eight, nine. Henry. Mark. Nine. Nine. So look at that number nine. All right. He smiled at me. Childhood memories come flooding back. Everything is as clear as the sky. Look at his face. Please take me to this special place. If you are really stressed, you may cry. Jim. I heard Jim. Sweet child of mine. That is sweet child of mine. Sweet child of Jim's. Yeah. Yes. Jim. All right. Please pick between seven, eight, five, and four. Well, uh, last time I went with the first number in 34. This time I will go with the second number in 34. Number eight. Here we go. <laughs> ah, darn. <laughs> okay, here we go. I woke up at seven o'clock. It takes nine seconds. I don't like this one because worrying is a waste of time. Ryan. Mark. Ryan. Is it Mr. Brownstone? That is Mr. Yeah. Brownstone. Uh. They changed the lyrics. Gotta get bed. You gotta get out of bed around nine to oh. it takes nine seconds. Uh, that's <laughs> about right. That's All usually right. it usually takes nine seconds when I'm in bed. That's usually about that's, well, right. that's what Mr. Big Jim says. Five, seven, eight. Five. Five. Here we go. There's a rabbit on the road. <laughs> I am one of them. Bye. I want to go home. We will refund the amount you paid to the end of the street. Ryan. Ryan. Paradise City. That is Paradise City. Nice. Holy cats. Talk about Just rabbit. an urchin living under the street. I am a hard case that's tough to beat. I am your charity case, so buy me something to eat. I'll pay you at another time. Take it to the end of the line. Yeah, it was the end there that, that got it. All right. Ryan, you and Mark are tied with Holy three. Cats. Seven. Jim's got two. Matt's got none on the board yet. He's trying. The, the fingers, he is trying. The fingers are fast. The buzzers are clicking. Number seven. I will say, you left two songs on the board that I myself had never heard of. So Holy good cats. luck to you boys. You literally left the 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 hardest for last at least for me i think number seven number seven please wait until the lyrics are complete when you say you don't want anything from me just say it because people like you can understand it i have bread another good model i bless you but do what you want what the hell is even that Sorry, I got distracted. Could you say that? Could you repeat all of those? Yeah, I, I also repeat, got distracted there. I, I, I will apologize. Repeat it all. Ready? When you say you don't want anything from me, just say it. Because people like you can understand it. I have bread, another good model. I bless you, but do what you want. Good Lord. This one's tough. 
Merciful heavens. Ryan. Sure. Ryan. God, there's like three songs that I can even think of that would be in like the top ten songs that would be le- estranged. No. Matt. Matt. Live and let die. No, unfortunately. Jim or Mac? Um, uh, I don't even remember all of them that have been said. Uh, used to love her. No, Mark. I'll throw out Night Train. Not Night Train. Is it my if Michelle? Say, if I say I don't need anyone, I can say these things to you. Because I can turn on anyone just like I've turned on you. I've got a tongue like a razor, a sweet switchblade knife, and I can do you favors, but then you'll do whatever I like. It is a rocket queen. Oh, I, was just saying I didn't even show. know that was a Guns N' Roses song. <laughs> Me either, buddy. Wolf. My rocket Me. queen. That's how it goes, Jim. Rocket I'm queen. Sure. So we are down to number eight. Here we go. Monologue. (laughs) Nobody is at home. He can do crazy things. He was born in this country. You. Matt. Matt. Knocking on heaven's door. No. Ryan. Ryan. I'll go night train here. No. I'll go with my Michelle. No. Big Jim, if you get this, it is a three-way tie. (laughs) Fuck me. Um... I will say this. The song has been said as an incorrect guess in a different round. Oh, don't cry. (laughs) <laughs> I think I know what it is now. I'll go back oh, yeah. to my guess from a previous one and because I have no clue. used to love her. When you're talking to yourself and nobody's home, right. you can fool yourself. You came into this world alone. Alone. It is estranged. When you're talking to yourself, smoke. So we've got Mark and Ryan with three, Jim with two, and Matt with nothing. So Matt, because there is a tie, you get to pick the artist for the next time. Nice. Who are we picking? Shanana. 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 I will. Shanana. We will never play this game again. Um. In honor of the show we're all going to, uh-huh. let's go Creed. Yeah. Yes. I like Sounds that. Sounds great. Got I it. it. All right, boys. That was Creed. fun. That was fun. I can't wait to hear what if, and it's just Tim saying, perhaps. <laughs> perhaps. perhaps. Maybe perhaps. so. Perhaps. <laughs> Maybe. 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 Could be. Chances are favorable. Here, let's I mean, run. Let's run one more stuff. of these. Let's run one more of these. Let's do it. Close this out here. This will actually uh, complete. Oh, oh, part on. This will be the first one we finish both sides of the paper. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. So this uh-huh. is '90s sitcoms. Uh, best TV neighbor: Wilson from Home Improvement or Kramer from Seinfeld? Wilson from Home Improvement. Wilson from Home Improvement. My neighbor, Wilson. Do you really have a neighbor, Wilson? No, but rest in peace uh, to my neighbor. She actually passed away this week. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, she had Luke. She had the Lukey. Uh, she had the Roman Reigns Lukey. Um, oh, bummer, man. So, yeah, it sucks. The worst part about this is that now I don't know if my, next, my new next-door neighbor is going to be as cool as she was. Yeah. 
That's the struggle. That is the struggle. The struggle is real. She was supposed to be there until we moved. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah, yeah. Mark, Wilson or Kramer? I like Kramer. You would. Yeah. It is definitely Wilson. Is the correct Mark answer. is absolutely Kramer. Like, Kill Bill is probably like, ah, shit. Yeah, it's like, Mark's motherfucker. Probably, yeah, Mark I is Kramer. I, uh, I think we actually have a, uh, a sound on the soundboard that can prove he's Kramer if you want to hit it. <laughs> Wait, what? No, the what's no, up? We, no. Oh, what's no. Up, my? no. No, no. no. What's up, my uh, neighbors? No. What's up, my neighbors? Is what he. No, he said naggers <laughs> with an A. Hard A. Oh. With the hard A. The hard oh. A. Hard A. Says, oh. No. Oh. No. Mark oh. says, that's not what I said. <laughs> oh, baby. I said, okay, Cosmo, Mark. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Okay. Cosmo Hottenstein over here. TGI oh, lineup. Right. Full House versus Boy Meets World. Oh, my God. Um, today, if I were to we rewatch them, I would enjoy Boy Meets World more. So, Boy Meets World. Walking down this road of life is what we're doing, Jim. Boy Meets World. What was the, what was the actual question? Boy Meets World or what? Full House. <sighs> Good morning, San Francisco. <laughs> Full House. <laughs> Ooh, boo! This man, boo! It's close. It is. It, they it are both very re- close. That's tough. That's really tough. You just happened to catch me in the middle of a, le- a late night fa- full house watch through. The Trump it's thing what- happened. You're thinking about Aunt Becky. Yeah, we get it. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, full like- full house had the better um, like follow up series. Fuller House greater than Girl Meets World. Well, I mean. It's tough to relate to a 13-year-old girl versus well, adults. True, that days. is fair. That is fair. Uh, Mark? It's kind of tough because I didn't really watch either. Oh, my God. But probably the boys meet the meet the girls. Disrespectful. Get out of here. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry you're upset. No, you're not. You're really not. You know, while you were sitting at home... Watching your TGIFs of girls meeting boys, I was out getting women. <laughs> <laughs> now that is the most ludicrous thing that's been said. Yes, one hundred percent. Yeah, no. The answer is Boy Meets World. It is my favorite show. I've been watching it back an episode at a time as they've been doing the Pod Meets World. Still holds up. Still holds up to this day. Um. Animated excellence, Simpsons versus South Park. Easy. Again, as an adult, watching it back, I would enjoy South Park more. Um, But growing up, it had to have been the Simpsons. All right, Matt. Yeah, currently South Park is better, but overall for Matt, it's the Simpsons. There ain't no show smarter on television than South Park. I got to go with overall The Simpsons. Um, I honestly, I probably watched more South Park when like I've I've watched more Simpsons like I, like because my parents were like, you shouldn't watch that. Uh, for both shows, but like by the time South Park came around, like my brother and I were like old enough and smart enough to really sneak like sneak and watch it. So yeah, I probably I'll go South Park all around for this answer. Um, but both obviously are are fantastic. Um, classic duo: Will and Grace versus Frasier. I don't I don't think I watched a minute of either show. Um. um. Okay. Hey, Jim. Yes. You mentioned one duo and not I... the other. So who is Frazier's duo? Right, is it his brother? His dad? No, I'm asking I'm asking Big Jim if he knows yeah. who Frazier's second is. I know that. No, no, I've never watched Fraser. 
<laughs> Niles. So Frazier and Niles versus William Niles Grace. Crane. Okay, I mean literally that that this is what Chat GPT has given us. Classic you need to duo. Chat GPT. Will and Grace. Then then it defeats the purpose, Tim. I think it's the the they're they're talking the show titles. The show title was called Will and Grace, and the show title was called Frazier. So the duos from each respective show. Correct. I get that Will and Grace is the duo that you were looking for. Correct. But like when when the question was asked again, I've never watched them, but I know who it is. I pictured Fraser and Niles, and the dog, and then I pictured Will and Grace. But I, I've never watched any of them. You know the interactions between anybody. Bad question, Jim. Blame Chad GPT. Matt, do you have an answer? You put Matt uh, to sleep. Jack and Karen from Will and Grace. That's actually the right answer. Tim, do you have an answer? I do. Are you going to share you that answer? You're share the answer. Oh, oh I just <laughs> thought we were just asking if I had an answer. Um, Frazier. Okay, Mark. I guess. Oh, it's got to be Frazier. Um, I, I, of the two shows, I only watched some episodes of Will and Grace, so I have to go Will and Grace, but... Uh, Jack and Karen is the correct answer, as Matt said. Um, best '90s workplace comedy: The Office versus News Radio. Was The Office from the '90s? Started probably in '99, maybe. Actually, no, I don't think so. Was the was the no. British? Was the British? The, the Office one, started in two thousand two thousand five. I mean, the British one was probably in the 90s. I've never watched that. Maybe. But I've never watched news radio either, so I'll say The Office. The British version... First broadcast in the UK on July 9th, 2001. (laughs) (laughs) So what from the 90s at all. So the answer is news radio. Congratulations. Thank you, ChatGPT. We move Why on. Why did ChatGPT choose news radio of all shows? I know, right? There is a uh, Hindi version of The Office that came out in 2019, if anybody's interested in watching that. I did not know nope. that. Okay. I have more interest in watching the, re- like the, the, the new Office coming out um, with my balls in my hand. But they're, <laughs> detached, but they're detached from my body. If someone actually cut my balls off, I ripped them off myself. Yes. My fair hands. Tim shits on Bollywood tonight. Um, oh, is there, is, what would another? I mean, yeah, there's so many other office comedies. Well, the, the answer is. to this question is news radio. Spin City could have been one. Oh, Spin City was oh, great. My. That's funny. Um, right, all right. Teeny. God bless Barry Boswick. Teenage drama, Beverly Hills 90210 versus Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek all day. Dog, I don't know. They're both both of them suck. Get out of here. <laughs> they both I'll, suck. Dawson's I'll, Creek was brilliant television. It was classic. <laughs> you behind the peach pit, Tim. You keep talking like that. It's 90210. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna threaten me. Yeah, the answer is Dawson's Creek, without question. The answer, the answer is nine hundred two one zero. Still, I still that. love Katie Holmes because of Dawson's Creek. Um, best nineties spinoff: A Different World versus The Colbert Report. They couldn't choose Frasier for this one. <laughs> Man, <laughs> the the miscellaneous category gave us some real good ones. This nineties sitcom was a stinker. Wild. Dog the shit. Colbert Report is a sitcom. It's a spin. Oh no, it's a '90s spinoff. A is what he said. Oh, it's a spinoff. Right, but it's the category, the category, the category is sitcom. '90s sitcoms. Like I literally gave it. <laughs> n- the, 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 it's and it f- gives you a faux news show. Fifteen '90s sitcoms debate topics. I mean, uh, even the the last one with Dawson's versus Nine Hundred Two and Oh, neither of those are sitcoms. No. They what were was, dr- what was what was the other option, Jim? A different world. It wasn't. Oh, I guess that's the only one that actually fits the category, right? Does yes. it? Was it a different world? 
Oh yeah, no, it started in the eighties. <laughs> From eighty-seven, it started. Yeah, but the, it, did it finish we'll with, in the nineties though? We'll go with like the it, Colbert Report, which probably started in the twenty ten. In the two thousands. God, this is brutal. Okay. Like the, the easy question was Family Matters versus Frasier. Yeah. Um. All right, geek culture. Buffy the Vampire Slayer versus Xena Warrior Princess. Oh, uh, Buffy. <laughs> Buffy, but I don't think that was 90s either. Yeah, Buffy was 90s. No, it wasn't. Yeah, the show. Xena was 94, yeah, the, yeah. 95. Was Buffy yeah. was early. Too, Buffy. Too, yeah. Tim, you got one for this? I do. It's Xena Warrior Princess. Holy cats. Holy cats. I got to go with Buffington. Yeah, I go Buffy on this one. I'm going to save this one good one for the last, just in case these other three stinkers are stinkers. <laughs> just the one good one. Uh, third rock, uh, sci-fi comedy. Third Rock from the Sun versus Red Dwarf. I've never, <laughs> I've, I've never even heard of Red Dwarf. I can't, that's not even a real show, is it? Third Rock. 30 Rock for me. Now, Red Dwarf like was a British it. comedy series. That started in 88. <laughs> That's gonna say. They might as well just throw an elf out there. God darn! It did. It did end in '99. It ran for 11 seasons on BBC Two. That's 12 seasons too many, Jim. <laughs> yes, it sure is. <laughs> it sure is. So the answer is Third Rock from the Sun, right? Yeah, Third that Rock. Actually, that actually was pretty good. I, I started rewatching it a couple of years ago, and then. Like, I got into season two, and it got pulled from Hulu, and I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> um, single parents, Murphy Brown versus Grace Under Fire. For God's sake. I'm telling you, it's, when I get to this last one, you're going to be happy. I kind of, I think. Let's, yeah. let's go Murph Brown. Old Murph. Old Murph. Murph, I, old Murph. I think I watched more Grace Under Fire, honestly. I for so sure I did. I... It was on ABC, I think. Yeah. Tim, Tim, you got one for this? I think I watched more Murphy Brown because there's a possibility that that was what my mom was watching before Raw and Nitro came on. <laughs> that yeah, tracks. Right <laughs> Mark? Brown. I got to go with that Grace Taken Fire because my art teacher, Mr. Russell, hated Murphy Brown. And I stand with Mr. Russell. Who, who was Grace and Grace? Who was that? Oh, what was that? Uh, Rhett Butler, right? Yeah. Is that, okay. Red Butler. Yeah, it's definitely Grace <laughs> Under Fire for me. I, I watched more of that. Um, controversial humor. Uh, married with children or the Ren and Stimpy show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I feel like growing up, I wasn't like supposed to watch Ren and Stimpy because it was like vulgar. Like it was the, the that mindset with parents. Um. So, oh boy, but Mary with Children was just <laughs> offbeat as well. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go Ren and Stimpy, I guess. I loved Ren and Stimpy, so I'm going to go with that. <laughs> I mean, Ren and Stimpy is really just SpongeBob for our age, right? Like, it's right. just... That's really the the equivalent we could draw. Probably a little crude, cruder than SpongeBob. A bit more crude, okay. Yeah. Okay, crude. You ready for this, Jim? Get it. It's hard to pull your penis to Ren and Stimpy, married with children. Oh my! <laughs> There's the Apple Gate. So the other, Apple literally, not wrong. The other day, I saw somebody tweet something like. You know, it's time oh my we... god, I just pulled my dick no. to Ren and Stimpy. No, no, no. I mean, they if you get it to the beat of happy, happy, joy, joy, you'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. Fappy, fappy, joy, joy, fappy, fappy, joy, joy. No, they said, it's time we have the conversation. Peg Bundy was kind of hot. And I went, kinda. I went, first thing you got to do is you got to get the word kind of out of there. Get kind of the hell out of there. Because Peg Bundy was an absolute smoke bomb. Katie Seagal's in that show. still a smoke show. Absolutely. Now, together forever. That's me. What do you think keeps me watching the Connors? <laughs> <laughs> your, your deeply rooted racism? <laughs> wow. Guess how old she is today, Jim. Uh, she's 62. No. Let's go around the horn. She is 68. 
I'm going to say she's 70 on the nose. That is correct. She is 70, she is 70 years old. 70? Yeah. Is she will... still married to Kurt Sutter, I think, from the guy that created Sons of Anarchy? I think she's still married to him. 70? Oh, yeah, she's hot. 70. I'll give her 0.7-inch wiener. Dude. Ooh. Man. It's Murray 70. For sure. That's got to be the first time I've found a 70-year-old woman attractive. Nah, man. Dolly Parton. She's 78. Oh, you're right. Got me there. Got me there. Honey, <laughs> thank you. Put right. them titties in my face, Dolly Parton. <laughs> uh, best 90s ensemble cast. Or wait, Mark, did you answer the last one? I'd say married with children. Did you know that the Bundys and the Rhodes family, they were named after King Kong Bundy at Dusty Rhodes? I think I did know that. I did not know that. Yeah, the roads are the neighbors, and then of course the Bundys with Zhao and Peggy and Mr. King Bundy. Bundy. Kelly also, what, uh, what was the neighbor? The neighbor lady's name? Marcy. Marcy. God, you. And it was Steve, and then Jefferson came in. When every Steve everybody on that street was just banging everybody, weren't they? Like just it, I think so. that street was just one big swingers party. I think everybody except party. for. Bud, Bud wasn't getting nothing. Nah, Bud didn't get shit. The way he intended. <laughs> Bud couldn't have been happier about it. <laughs> That's right. Bud's just like, leave me alone as in this a kid, chair. Like I watched, I watched Ren and Stimpy more. My answer for this one would be Ren and Stimpy, just from the '90s perspective. But now, I mean, this looking back at that show, fucking brilliant, man. I don't think I could watch a full episode of Ren and Stimpy. I don't think it's my tough. mind would like allow. No, me not anymore. To watch it. No, it was just stupid, it, it loud just noise like growing up. Yeah, yeah, it was it was rough. Yeah, Mary with children are pretty terrible. Terrible. It's it's it, yeah, they were actually saving us from ourselves. It's one of those shows that like if I watched it now, I would apologize to my parents like that they've had to sit through like yeah. uh, the dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, like I remember oh, loving dinosaurs as a kid, and then like a couple years ago I went on Netflix, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to take a trip down nostalgia lane. I made it about six minutes into the first episode, <laughs> and I literally texted both of my parents, and I was like, I'm sorry you had to watch that. I remember when that was on Netflix, I tried. I, I might have gotten through an episode, and it was, it's, it's a it was watch. terrible. <laughs> Just awful. Yeah. That's Just. how I feel about Alf. Alf is a rough watch. Really? Now. Yeah, I think I it's a rough believe that. Yeah. Every, yeah, every, every, you have any more everybody. questions, Big Jim, or was that it? Now we got two more. Let's let's bang them out here. Uh, best '90s ensemble cast: Friends versus the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Friends. Friends. Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Yeah, I'm going Friends. Fresh Prince on this man. Both strong cast, but Fresh Prince is loaded. Loaded. Yeah. I'm sorry, the Fresh Prince theme doesn't make you clap. <laughs> Makes you clap. Speaking of clap. rough watch, go. It's on Max. Go watch the first episode ever of Friends, and tell me how that show got picked up. Really, that bad? The pilot was that bad? <laughs> yeah. It is wild to look back at some some of the shows that that ran for a long time and how bad the pilots were. I yeah. mean, Never Parks broke. and Rec pilot was trash. Yeah. Oh, the my Office God. wasn't good. Yeah. Parks and Rec, the whole first season the was first trash. Season was awful. You have to skip that. All right. Nah, I mean, man, it's only like gotta, six episodes. It's not it very long. You have to rest. earn. I think you have to earn it. Yeah. You kind of wear it as a badge of honor. You're like, poof. Yeah, pay you. I always shit. just tell people skip the Brandanowitz seasons, and then it's it's, it's the opposite of House of Cards, which like starts brilliantly, and the last season is just like, oh no. Now, granted, Thanks, Kevin you know, Spacey. Yeah, you son well, of a bitch. Know. Um. All right. Last one. '90s nostalgia. Saved by the Bell versus Clarissa explains it all. <laughs> that was the best of what was left, by that's the way. Not, yeah, that's hard to compare, like a fucking sitcom with a '90s or like a Nickelodeon sitcom. Yeah. Um, I probably watched Clarissa Explains It All more. I was a big Nickelodeon kid. Wow. Okay. But again, growing up, I don't think that would I would enjoy that. Like I could watch Saved by the Bell and enjoy that today. Um, I'll go Saved by the Bell. Saved yeah. by the, a lot of Saved by the Bell holds up pretty pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, I even watched the, the Good Morning Miss Bliss 
years of Saved by the Bell. Oh, yeah. God. Oh. Where Zach's dad was trying to pork Miss Bliss. Yep. <laughs> well, can you blame him? I mean, who yes. wouldn't? <laughs> she was rough. Well, it... Zach's dad knew that Zach was a piece of shit when he was in sixth grade, so he was just trying to keep him in school. That's like I think that was it's like here if I if I bang you out and give him a good grade and we move on with our lives. Who has done that? Uh, Tim. Um. Give me the only show that gave me the spinoff of Zach Morris's trash. <laughs> Very good. Mark. I didn't really watch it either, but I'd probably go Saved by my bell. <laughs> now, did you know the phrase Saved by the Bell has to do with back in the day when you were deceased and they buried you, they'd put a little string in the casket with you and it'd be tied to a bell. And if you were still alive, you'd pull the string and it would ring the bell. That's where it came from. Is that, for, is that for real? Look it up. Put it in your Google machine. I, mean, I will forget to do that later. I, I think he's actually right. That I mean, that, right. that tracks. Like That's, that's definitely... Where it comes from. Saved by the bell. No kidding. Isn't that weird? Because like, you'd think like in a boxing match or something right, before you get killed. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I always thought it was. Like if, if, if a guy's just... yeah, if when So when Mike Tyson's beating the hell out of Jake Paul in a couple of weeks... Yeah. Jake Paul's going to be <laughs> saved by the bell. Um, no mercy, baby. That's uh, that's Ferguson from Clarissa Explains It All today. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, the wow. age well. He kind of looks like up. our friend uh, Mark from work, Ryan. A little bit. He might be. Now, Mark has a head of hair, though. Mark does have a head of hair. Beautiful head of hair. Uh, this, a the answer for this one is, um, uh, for me, saved by the bell. I think all through high school, I think they, I, I watched at least one episode of Saved by the Bell in the morning because it was on TBS. I think yeah. in the morning. Yeah, it was on. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, Saved by the yeah. Bell holds up. It's it's good. Now I didn't, I didn't watch the, the new one on the Peacock. It's all right. That got canceled. It got canceled right after like two seasons, maybe. Yeah, on the Peacock. It was fine. All right. Any, does anyone long? remember? Does anyone remember the uh, show USA High? No, Maybe. no. Oh man! But there was there was a couple other. I remember. Was it California? Was there a California Dreaming? California Dreams. California Dreams. Dreams with an S. And then there was another one. Well, there was five seasons of California Dreams. Jeez. And then there was another one. I remember there being a like a basketball team. Uh, a basketball one. One Tree Hill. No. <laughs> Hang time. Hanging with Mr. Cooper. I do remember hanging with Mr. Cooper. But no, there was Hang another there was another show that was kind of in the same it was kind of it. Was that it? That might have yeah, that might have been it. Hang time. Stupid. I've never heard of it. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. That's the one I remember. Yep. It was on NBC for, uh, God, for six seasons as well. Yeah, it wasn't good. That ran till 2000, Jim. I think I only watched maybe the first episode or two. But, yeah. Oof, not good. Gosh. Some horrible shows. Some horrible well, shows. Thanks for making us all feel old. <laughs> Well, I figured after we played the when are we going to die age game. Yeah, that's good. We shouldn't have brought that up. We shouldn't have brought that up. But uh, anything else, boys? We got anything else? No, it's just a fun and nostalgic uh, it was. style show. It was. It was fun. All right. Well, we'll be back uh, Thursday uh, live, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, YouTube. You can follow us on all of our social media, all of those, as well as TikTok. You can get our merchandise over at tpublic.com. Until, until Thursday, stay safe, stay smart, and always go for the pin.